Hi, Tomut here and I would like to talk about my schizophrenia and fear and how uh, fear can be a very uh, important detail to understand and learn how to handle in one's process of uh, living and uh, self. So fear is like a very ultimate or all the ultimate form of self-deception because going into fear we are then easily prey for our ego or ego is like okay going into fear I like it ego would say here we're going into fear yes good ego goes we'll try to convince us that this is just some ordinary energy that we can just control which is just a deliberate uh, lie from our ego and deception as such. Fear is also a very prominent detail of the human experience. Although it is a, 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 a fault and a bad, it is how humans experience themselves through ordinary day. We go into fear. We disempower ourselves, we limit ourselves with going into fear. I would fear this person to say something to me that I don't like. We would fear to look in the mirror. We fear to face our own internal conversations. We fear to do certain things because we fear we will fail at it. And there's basically just a myriad of things in our ordinary environment, and ordinary living, that we fear. We fear to not have enough money, we fear that we not have enough sex, we fear that we're not cool enough, we fear that we're not bad enough, we fear that we're not... All these things and dimensions that we fear, and this energy of fear is then limiting our potential of living, our potential of expanding of learning and growing and altering self as uh, lost in dimensions of such as fear and worry and nervousness and doubt and um, so basically fear is you could say the ultimate self-deception because once fear kicks in ego also kicks in and wants to and tells you that this is okay this is just nice this is just ordinary this is just fine while that is just a huge con deception and your mind and your ego telling you that this is just fine this is just acceptable this is normal this is okay while you are limiting yourself while I am while we are um, disempowering ourselves and making ourselves less than uh, our potential, our, our best ability. So basically fear is, you can, might say, polarity of um, what is good, what is best for all. So fear would sort of take away one's possibility to live what is good, to live what is best for all included. Uh, it's like a, you might say polarity of love and fear perhaps you could say so basically fear in my living I've had some uh, moments of fear and facing my fear and um, you know just realizing that that is fear and just stopping that addiction, stopping feeding that uh, fear system, stop feeding that energy, more energies from as my physical, from as learning my mind to understand my mind and learning to um, be with uh, the, the totality of me, mind, body, being, mind, body, being, learning to be with the totality of me learning myself to, 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 to know, to stand and not bow down to fear because fear is a very deceptive energy that 
is limiting, that is disempowering, that is just causing havoc and dismay, which will lure you to saying that your, your ego would, would go like, this is fine, it's okay, it's acceptable. That is why I experience what I experience with, with fear, that it's okay, it is normal, it is okay, it doesn't, don't worry about it. All these deceptive thoughts uh, coming from within my mind, coming from within my ego, telling me that fear is okay, while just ego is just driving me to into destruction, into chaos, into um, into havoc, sort of, because then my ego is taking control uh, and you know driving me into dismay and and and, and um, destruction. So, um, ego is a very hard point to come to terms with and it's a, it's a point where we have to use patience, persistence and perseverance to work on everyday patterns, to change ourselves from the patterns and the personalities that we live into becoming standing examples in the physical, in the flesh, in, in, the, in the sound of our being, in the sound of, our, of ourselves as human beings and not lost in minds matrix play of energies, of fear, of polarities, of programs that would keep you running and running and running like a hamster in a wheel. So instead of recycling these systems of limitations and disempowering, we can say that, okay, I would like to do something else than going into fear, you might say, and that is something that I'm looking at today. I would rather be self-honest, I would rather live a word, I would rather do dishes, I would rather do something else instead of going into fear over all these things. And instead of limiting myself and disempowering myself, I say that, okay, I can do this job, I can wash this floor, I can do this vacuuming or, 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 or making food or, or baking or going swimming or doing this, doing that, and doing things, writing a blog, doing it, making a difference uh, where I can, post a video about schizophrenia and fear and so on. So yeah, schizophrenia and fear, I mean fear could seem more, um, uh, not so important with the schizophrenic because with the schizophrenic, like me, fear becomes very natural, very part of who I am as a, as a being, as a system. And so, and with, the, with the, the, the hospitals and the doctors and the nurses and all will, will convince you to say that, to, to agree to that fear is just acceptable. Or everybody has fear and therefore it's okay. Since everybody has some sort of fear, that makes it okay. That is not the case. Fear is not okay. Disempowering, limiting, and you know, self-corruption is not okay. So, and it's, and it's a persistent, uh, consistent, and walking of changing self, changing patterns, changing behavior, changing self from all that one have been throughout the years of programs and memories and all this data lost in the maze of the mind and bring it to the to the larger body bring it to common sense bring it to a solution sound proof what is best for all self-honesty self-awareness responsibility creation and so on to see that we are really limitless if we allow ourselves to remove the fear, to, to not go into the fear, and let go of the fear, let go of the fear, and rather live like with the flow, we might say, go with the flow instead of going into fear that will limit and disempower and drive you into dismay, and rather uh, live as we are, as we can, as our potential 
as our best ability, our best versions of ourselves, and uh, use our breathing, work on, our, or work on ourselves, write, please do write, open up points to self, write, self-forgive, expand, learn, share, and let's grow as humanity, learn ourselves to know individually and work together in oneness to create best best for all solutions in this in this lifetime for all to have a better tomorrow so fear is a very important point to come to terms with to understand and to to stop going into fear stop giving into the fear stop letting fear control one from persistent consistent walking day to day every day and stopping Stop letting fear be the uh, take the best of us. Stop allowing fear to take the best of you, as I will stop the fear from letting it take the best of me. So, thank you and enjoy. I'll see you around.